This is Builder Strain. Today I'm going to walk you through how I build one of my DIY diffusion panels. Stick with me. First off, you're going to need a half inch PVC pipe. You're also going to need a small section of three quarter inch PVC pipe. You're going to need some PVC pipe cutters, some scissors, two X PVC, PVC pipe half inch connectors, a half inch T connector, a half inch quarter connector, measuring tape, and a sharpie. The other thing you'll need is some diffusion material. I like to use um, Savage Medium Plastic, although you can use pretty much anything you want to use, Roscoe or um, even a shower curtain, a uh, semi-opaque shower curtain if you're going super cheap on this. So first off, we're going to measure out the half inch PVC pipe. Today I'm going to make a two foot by three foot diffusion panel. It's not so important that they're exactly two feet or three feet. You can really make these diffusion panels any size you want. It just matters that the two sides opposite one another are exactly the same size to keep it nice and square. They sell half inch PVC pipe in 10 foot sections for about two bucks at Home Depot. So not too expensive at all. Here's my 10 foot section right here. Once I got the one three foot section cut, I'll just use it to make sure that both pieces are exactly the same size. One of the best things in this process is if you get the PVC pipe cutters, it's way better than a hacksaw, which is what I started off with. It makes it take seconds and they're super easy to use. It cuts through PVC pipe like it's uh, regular paper. They're great. I've got two three-foot sections that are exactly the same size. Now I need two two-foot sections. So these are really close in length. If I did have a little bit of overhang, I would try to cut off a little bit from one side or the other just to kind of remove any excess that I didn't need. Again, I don't need them exactly two feet. I really just need them to be as close to the same size as possible. But these are plenty close enough. So this is pretty straightforward. I just like to put two X's on either end of a two foot section and then a corner and a T will face on the other two foot section. As you can see, your frame's done. Um, th what I end up doing is I make legs uh, that I can support these on with more PVC pipes. So I put the T section and the X here so that I can either make it horizontally or turn the whole thing and make it vertically depending on what I need for the chute. I leave the extra X on here so that I have put um, bookshelf hangers on my wall and I can slide these right on top of my wall and hang them out of the way on the wall. Works great. Now that I've got the frame built, I'm going to work on little clamps to clamp on the diffusion material to the PVC pipe. I used half inch PVC pipe for the frame itself. For the clamps, I use one size larger, in this case, three quarter inch PVC pipe. I'll cut small two inch sections and then cut a piece out of the middle and make little clamps that will allow me to clamp on the diffusion material. With this big of a frame, I like to use three clamps on each side. So I'll need 
12 clamps overall to clamp all the diffusion material to this frame. So now it's just the laborious task of cutting them all out. So I've got my 12 not so even pieces left over. Up next is probably the most difficult part in this little build. Um, I need to cut out a, a vertical section of the PVC pipe and leave slightly more than half left. Um, that way it'll act as a great clamp to go around the PVC frame that I've got that's the half inch frame. When I'm cutting out a section, what I like to do is try to cut out the section that has the writing and text on there, particularly the red, because I don't want any color um, to bleed onto my scene when I'm using the diffusion panels, but also it looks a lot neater when you can cut off all the text. I'm going to use the PVC pipe cutters again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut vertically. Um, I like to start on, if I put the hooked in inside of it, I try not to cut all the way through it because it's uh, a little bit more difficult if I do that way, but I try to get a little bit more than half on the first cut. So that's what I've got. I've got one that's slightly, uh, slightly more than half of the circle that's left, and I've got most of the text is all caught up, cut off, if not all the text, and this is just a piece of scrap. So I like to start off right beside the red, that way I can be as sure as possible that I'm going to be able to cut all of the text off. I clamp all the way down and pull it out. When I do this, um, the clamp itself leaves marks on the other underside of the PVC pipe. If you use the third mark over, that'll be where I like to cut right there, and it'll leave slightly more than half. If you use these right here, you'll start noticing this pattern of four with a cut right in the center, and you just use this one right here. I line up the blade with that one, the f one mark right there, and cut straight through. And then I cut from the other side and just get rid of the right excess. Now that I've got my clamps to clamp on the diffusion material made, I need to size out the piece of diffusion material and cut it to the right size. Um, I, what I like to use is the um, little overhang from the connectors as sort of a size indicator for how much uh, excess I'll need to wrap around the PVC frame and what I like to give it is probably about a quarter to a half inch of space on um, extra past the ends of the connector caps. So the last part is to cut a small semicircle out of the corners. That way I can wrap around the corners uh, where the connections are and not hit the connecting pieces. I like to just make a mark where I want to start and make a mark where I want to end and then just move the frame out of the way and connect the two dots. So I'm almost done. All I've got to do now is just roll over the plastic and use my clamps to clamp it into place. I like to use or do one side and then do the opposite side and then do the other two sides.
So here's the final diffusion panel all done. Like I said, I've got several of these. I've got different sizes. I've got smaller ones like this. Um, all of them have this little, uh, an X on either end so that I can easily hang them up on the wall. And I also um, make little legs for the diffusion panels so I can put them in scene a little bit easier without having to use an extra light stand. I've marked the legs that I've made with different colors so they're all, uh, I know which ones are all the same size. So I've got blue, green, and red. Uh, I couldn't tell you what the exact size are. I think I just cut several pieces at the same length. The feet themselves are just a couple of T sections put together. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding the build of these diffusion panels, feel free to leave me a message in the comment field. Have a wonderful day. Bye.